about something that's been on my mind for a long, long while. You know, students, in this country, you know what's becoming a major problem is alcoholism. You know how many millions of alcoholics there are in this country? You know what an alcoholic is? An alcoholic is a person that, that can't take one drink. He has one drink and he's off and running. He can't handle alcohol. His body can't handle this. So he becomes a burden, not only to the community, but to himself. He loses his uh, ability to be happy and his body, is, his health is ruined. I mean, it's a terrible disease. And you probably feel sorry when you hear of an alcoholic. Of course, there are a lot of you students, you know, that you're social drinkers. You can have a drink or so you can control it, but you're very fortunate, but a lot of people can't. So those are the people we feel sorry for, and they are really a problem in this country, alcoholics. But you know, there's a type of person, there are millions of people in this country, to my way of thinking, are just as bad, and they're ruining their health just as quickly as this alcoholic. You know what they are? They are the people that can't take sugar, refined white sugar. They are sugarholics. And do you know how many sugarholics there are in this country? Millions and millions of them. As you go around the schoolyard, you watch the young boys and girls of this country and see how many of these children, their soft, weak muscles are out of condition. They don't have the energy and vitality they should have. They look like sugar. They don't look husky and robust and healthy the way they should because their bodies are being made of the sugar that they're eating, so they look soft and weak. Just think about this. And you know how much sugar you use in a day. You just haven't any idea. You know, I've been studying this uh, for a long, many, many, many years, and I know what I'm talking about. The average American, what do they do? Get up in the morning, they have a cereal. In that cereal, there is sugar that the cereal manufacturers have put in there. They've demineralized the cereal and they put sugar in it. Then what do you do? Then you pour more sugar on it. Then you have your coffee, you've got sugar in the coffee. Then throughout the day, you have your soft drinks and you have your cakes and your pies and your candy and all the rest of these things, dude. So at the end of the day, you, your body has received so much sugar that it can't handle it all, so it forms in the... Uh, in the form of fat. I mean, it collects on the body in the way of fat. And also, sugar takes away your energy and your vitality. It brings it up for a few minutes, then it drops it down, so you're tired all the time. Now, I want you to do something for me. For just five days, I want you to discontinue or take out of your diet for five days these foods that I'm going to show you, and I promise you that you will feel 100% better. Will you please try this for me, just as an experiment, because I'm here trying to help you. You help yourself a little bit. White sugar. Candy, cake, ice cream, jams, jellies, cookies, pies, pastries, most canned goods, and most of your soda pop. These things containing too much white sugar. Now, when you have that feeling in between meals, you know, where you have to have your sugar, take a piece of fresh fruit. Start your day off with a good, adequate breakfast with fresh fruit and some meat or some eggs, students. And also have some high protein for lunch with extra vegetables. In the evening meal, more protein and all. And see if you don't feel better fast. So remember these foods. Exclude them out of your diet for just five days, and you'll be thanking me for the rest of your natural life. This I promise. Make an effort, okay? Don't be a sugar